We're here in Amsterdam and you already can get a short glimpse of the megawatt charger behind me. And uh, now it's time to, to get three people to the stage. Now, some of you will remember that you were here and say, hey, I, I was there when we had the first one. And now it's commonplace, we have the standard, we know how to do it, but somebody had to crack the nut. And I'm, I'm proud that we, together, with you, can celebrate that. Yeah. Perfect. Wow. Of course I can. Hi, my name is Rogier. Um, behind me, you can actually see the megawatt charger. And I think the first thing we should be looking at is the blue building. You see that small building behind the fence? It has also nice gravity on it. Uh, that is basically the heart of the megawatt charger. So inside there, we have uh, the transformer. Uh, we also have uh, the power electronics and also a liquid cooling system. So basically, it is hooked up to our 10,000 volt network, so 10 kV, uh, and the transformer transforms it down to 1250 volts. And then via the power electronics, which is cooled, it goes either into the uh, uh, arm, this arm that you can see here on the left hand side, that is the, uh, that is the marine arm, and that arm can uh, charge uh, both with a CCS connector, so at the bottom you can see a CCX connector hanging there, but on the top you can actually see downwards the megawatt charger connector. So we are utilizing here the CCS standard, so that's the combined charging standard that you all know from all the public uh, charging at our retail sites, And but we here the innovative part is of course the, the megawatt charging uh, connector that we have together with the megawatt, uh, the standard that we are utilizing. And that is really the innovative uh, bit of this. And a yellow horizontal bar, that is for the roadside. So there we also have both uh, CCS and MCS connectors. And both of them uh, can be utilized for trucks or for buses or anything that moves and that can actually have that plug. Um, so it goes up to one megawatt, so 1,000 kilowatt, which is pretty high. Uh, the system itself can operate at 1250 volts and that's also I think something that uh, yeah, not everyone can do. Uh, furthermore it can go up to a thousand amps uh, and the liquid cooling will make sure that the system stays cool. So the system inside stays cool, so the power electronics and also the cable is, uh, is liquid cooled at the end. Uh, that will allow high efficiency so we can go up to 97 percent, uh, 79 sorry, 79 percent. Um, furthermore, <laughs> quite a difference. Uh, furthermore, um, uh, yeah, it's also because of this high efficiency, it also has a long li lifetime. So it actually can go for 30 years, we think. Um, yeah, so furthermore, the design itself, uh, the roadside has been designed by our in house company. Yeah, so we have called SBRS, uh, and they have been integrated into our shell recharge business. And, and this is completely their design. And I'm so proud that it actually is now here at our site and that we now can have customers here to come to demonstrate what this system can do for them for us for everyone so uh, yeah so quite some uh, some high power levels how and it's a 1.2 megawatt hour 1.0 megawatt battery will be hooked up to this uh, uh, megawatt charger and we also have a smaller battery uh, a 650 kilowatt hour 350 kilowatt battery that will be hooked up to the dc chargers here at the Energy Transition Campus Amsterdam. My name is Rogier. Uh, we are here at the outside plot. And this outside plot uh, has a lot of facilities like gases, etc. Also some bigger units for testing. So we have uh, some other, I uh, will not bore you with it. Hence, we need to have glasses and safety gear. Not because of this. So it's not about the megawatt charge. If, uh, if it was somewhere else, we did not have to wear all this PP. And so I've already told the story. But I'm actually standing here on the tank KV line. It goes on the, on the back of the of the house. And of course, if you really have questions, that person there, Martin, <laughs> is the is really the guru and our uh, main designer of this whole system. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, it was a pleasure working with you uh, on this. Um, so the tank KV comes in. Uh, there's a trapo goes down to 1250 uh, volts, one step. That's also something we're very proud of. Uh, very efficient in that tank. Inside. It goes through the uh, power electronics uh, with uh, rectifiers and, uh, and all that type of stuff. And then eventually that's also liquid cooled. Uh, and that also makes it very efficient and again also uh, very reliable, long, uh, long uh, uh, lifetime, etc. 
and then uh, once it comes out, it goes uh, through that uh, box, the second box you see here. Come, you can come closer. So through this box, and this box actually is the switch between either marine or road. So it's really like marine road. And then if it goes from into marine, it goes through this box. And this box is your wall box. Your typical walks box that you have at home. You all drive EVs, I presume. Uh, so you're charging at home and you normally have a small wall box, but this is a bigger one for this system. Then it goes up into the uh, uh, marine arm. Uh, it's also in there liquid cool. maybe you can show uh, it can normally also rotate completely uh, you rotate it to do maintenance so you can actually have it in, inside mm -hmm. without being over water uh, it moves out it moves out and it's actually in the thing so we have a remote control Lewis has it in his hand does it work Lewis? yeah it's, 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 oh yeah. it's elongating now Also we have the road side, so if you switch again the unit, it goes through this wall box and from this wall box it goes onto the road gantry and the road gantry has also two solutions. On this side we have the megawatt charging uh, connector, that's also according to the standard because trucks will arrive from this side and on the left side you have the megawatt charging standard connector and on the other side you have the uh, CCS. So this truck is actually wrongly parked, it should be the other way around. That doesn't matter for now. Um, nah, and again, that's the uh, uh, Megawatt Charging Standard. Uh, connector is in uh, uh, this, this brand. Thank you for showing. Yeah, <laughs> I, I thought it was time to... Uh, so so this, this brand is an, is an common brand, Huber and Schooner. They also make that one, eh? the CCS. It's on top there. So CCS is traditional. We have that on all our retail sites. But this is the new MCS Connector Standard. And, uh, um, as you can see, there's a cooling unit up there, uh, so that cooling unit is also liquid cooled, the cables. And uh, one of the reasons is if you will not liquid cool it, then the cables will be too thick and then you can actually not handle it anymore. So that's one of the reasons as well. Uh, nowadays, this is an, uh, also an internal design. I like it very much, but I already heard from customers, why do you pull a cord and why is it not electric? Maybe we should do that uh, indeed the next time. And so. If you pull the cords, it will actually go up, and it's quite heavy, so like that. But then, hopefully, the next one uh, will be <laughs> Questions so far? And uh, you can also play around. So, uh, pull the cord. Between the copper cord and the isolation. Yeah, you, you, you have two ways. So, when, yeah, it's it's when it's arriving to the plug, oh, is it going back? It's going back, and another tube which goes back. So, you have, you have the cord insulation and another one yes and, and between the isolation and the core the, the, the oil is pressed okay. and it comes up to the contacts which are quite critical because uh, the, the high current is flowing over and then it goes in the tube back to the piece exchange on the top and there it is with air put down to the ambiated and such okay and on this one it's the same so you have, uh, you have a slip ring to allow the, mm, yeah. the liquid to, to go until the end Okay, the chiller is here, so yeah. it doesn't have to rotate. No okay. slipper okay. 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 there. No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's rest there, so you don't need to. Oh, so you're rotating. You, you keep the cooling unit very close to the. Yes. And your cooling unit is cooled by what? By, by air. air. It's air. There's an air blower in, in, inside, and it, it takes uh, heat from the oil and throws it into the environment. Like a radiator. Uh, it's a radiator. Yes, yeah. to radiate. And uh, that is the cooling unit is, is there because uh, the, the longer the cable is which you have to cool, the more uh, heat or the, the more energy you are producing in the cable. Right? So you should keep it as short as possible. And so it's only necessary for the flexible part where, you are, where, where people handle it. It's not necessary for the way to the station because it's solid and then you, you just use thicker copper wire. 
I think what we currently say. Uh, get, get in in all in, in any length, but there we have seven meters. Yeah, seven meters. Yeah. What about dual charging? For two charge, uh, we have other charge which have uh, smaller modules inside, and there you can group it to to several outputs. But you only can give one output to one plug because you have to set the voltage, and the second vehicle if it's, it doesn't have the same voltage, so you you need to power units and there there's one large power unit inside. So you can you can charge one thing at a time in either at one truck or one yeah. Yeah, boat. Correct, yeah. okay. And and for the vessel you can do cold ironing also together with charging? Yeah. Cold ironing. So uh, providing Sh short connection. Yeah, short connection. No power uh, provision. In fact you you, so. you supply your no. you, you can't supply the hotel load of no. the vessel no. at the same time. You just charge your batteries. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so but you, you could switch, right? Yeah, yeah uh, so switch, switch back and forth, uh, switch uh, and then provide some hotel load. Yeah. Of course, right? so so the the vet, the vet but not much, man. Here it will not earlier, go that They have two uh, separate battery systems. They're charging one, and one of the battery systems is providing the canal. Yeah, okay. So you know, and then they, they, they swap. They have an automatic bus. So once the battery is uh, up to uh, say the charge they set, the bus closes, they start charging another battery, and then the, that battery has just been charged will become their. their uh, and, yeah, and, and up, up, up to which hotel load would you be able to power the well, vessel? I, I'm not, I, I don't know. That. I think it's uh, up to a megawatt. Yeah. Well, I'll be charging the that vessel up to one megawatt, but I'm not. Yeah, we're not providing the hotel load because that's for the other battery. Yeah, because I'm surprised when you when you are talking about cold eye running, uh, your plug is terribly mm -hmm. small. Hey, unfortunately, we have to stop because there's more people who want to come out. Well, actually, those plugs are rated to four megawatts. Yeah. 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 So Shall we yeah. move back? Is it okay? Yeah. Uh, can I stand next to you? Mark?